everyone and welcome back to Kingdom Hearts, a final a mix on a Sony, a PlayStation, a 3. Now that we are done with the games, we are now going to head into the last world of the game. But first, what am I doing? Why am I going to talk to Phil? Probably to show this off. Basically, if you talk to Phil by here, you can, he'll just say, oh, you can do training. But there's no tournaments you can do, so we can't actually fight any more baddies in this world for the time being. But we will be returning here at a much later date. Hope you're all looking forward to that. But anyway, let's leave. He's strong. He's kind. He's always there for you. And he's handsome to boot. He's... Perfect. Perfect. Perfectly infuriating! He makes me crazy! <sighs> Wait a minute. What are you worried about? All the pieces are in place. Relax. Whoa, 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 whoa. Here's what you do. Let Hercules train the kid. In the next games, I'll take care of them both. Who invited you to the party? Stay out of this. This is my show. As you wish. Fight to your heart's content. Oh no, she didn't. Saka tried to play me, but he never paid me. Never. Anyway, let's head on to the final... Final world of this first set of worlds. That is way deep in the deepest part of the deepest segment of this little galaxy we're in. And of course, we got another gummy ship segment at duel. Yay! Now these segments, honestly, are a lot more interesting to watch. I, I've already stated before I sped these up. Trust me, it is unbelievable how much more entertaining they are now that I sped them up at 250%. They used to be so slow. I mean, one of the big changes about this version, though, of Kingdom Hearts is the fact that the gummy ship segments have also been increased in difficulty in the fact the enemy ships can actually shoot you. Originally, in most of these, they never shot you. They basically flew towards you, and that's it. With the exception of one or two very rare ships. Now, in this one, a lot of ships will shoot at you, and basically there's more different kinds of ships, and there's more enemy ships overall just trying to plow into you, so... It's a little bit more interesting in general as well, compared to the original version of King Hearts. All the more reason why I'm glad I'm playing the final mixed version. But anyway... Welcome to the next world, and it looks awfully jungle-like. Hopefully King Mickey's down there, we'll see, we'll see though. I don't know, I doubt Riku and Kairi might be down there, but they could be. Hmm, we'll see, we'll see. Although I don't understand why Donald doesn't understand, doesn't think that the King would be down there, just because it's a backwater place. I mean, come on. Just because there's a jungle and it's got bugs everywhere, you still, the King is a fighting King. You'll see this later on in the series where the King's a badass, so I don't think he cares. Either way, into the next world we go. All I can say is welcome to the jungle, we got fun and games. Ten out of ten landing. Love it. Long time. Oh, my head. Donald? Goofy? <gasps> There's one strong cat. Anyway, this year is Sabor. And this is the first enemy we we're going to fight in this stage, and it's also quite a recurring enemy we're going to see. Basically, wait for him to do the slash attack and then do a simple three-hit combo, and he will send him flying to the other side of the stage. And you might notice now we have a triangle button prompt from our limit command. Now, like I said before, limits are super sexy attacks that do super sexy attack powers. Like this, for example. Whenever you do a dash, I'm, I failed by that, but you basically push the triangle button and you start off a combo, and then follow up with the triangle button afterwards. It took- it takes a while to get used to the timing with it, but once you get used to the timing, it's a very useful attack, and you're gonna see it used all the time in this place. Well, not all the time, but you're gonna see it used quite a bit. And all the limits are basically that. 
Originally, they were on the very fourth item slot down at the very bottom, where it's just a dash right now. However, that fourth item slot where the limits used to be have been just now replaced with summons, so... Limits? Well, they're now, they're now all on a triangle button, and... Honestly, I prefer it like that, because then you push the triangle button, and suddenly, boom! Super sexy, awesome, sexy, ultra, mega attack, go! And one of the best things about uh, this limit is sometimes you can stun the enemies with it. Sabor. Danger. Uh, thank you. Thank you. Uh, uh, what is this place? This place, this place. Okay. Where did the others go? Look, I got separated from my friends. Have you seen them? Mm hmm? Friends. Friends. Right! My friends! There's two of them. The loud one is Don... Uh huh? You know what? Never mind. I'm looking for my friends Riku and Kairi. Look for Riku. Friends. Right. Kairi. Friends. Uh, right. Um... Oh, friends, here. Really? <laughs> huh? <laughs> friends, here. Not sure I understand, but show me. Take me to Riku and Kairi. Tarzan. Tarzan, go. And I'm Sora. Tarzan, go. Sora, go, go. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to the deep jungle of Africa. I still can't believe that this is in this game, and Tarzan is one of my favorite Disney movies of all time. And I have to admit, I am very disappointed that the overworld theme of this world isn't the main theme of Tarzan. Come on now. Gosh, where are we? I sure hope Sora's okay. Well, ain't no time to be monkeying around this get-go, and seriously though, I think there's such a missed opportunity not having the Tarzan theme in the background in this world. It's just, ah, uh, I'd love to have that song in the background. I love the music in Tarzan, it's some of my favorite Disney soundtrack ever. Either way, let's just head on down here, jump straight off the top of the giant uh, tent, and we'll be heading into this area by here, the tunnel, where we have two ways to go. We can either go up here, which will lead us to an alternate area, which we won't be needing to see for a while, or we could go down into the actual tree trunk. But first things first, let's save the game. Gotta be safe. It's better to be safe than sorry. <laughs> That's delicious. Oh, they don't call me the pungent master for nothing. Anyway, pop into the tree trunk and we have a little sliding mini game where um, we have to s slide down this very surprisingly smooth surface and um, head on all the way down the bottom. Now for the most part you just move left and right and hold forward and backwards and move faster and slower. Whenever you see Trump, uh, trees and you know, branches in the way, be sure to try and hit them or jump over them to get by. They're quite easy to deal with to be honest. This, this area is quite easy, it's, it's a very smooth ride. But of course once we've done this we'll be heading into the encampment area of the camp. 
And now it's behind the camp. The encampment area of the camp. What the hell is that meant to mean? Of course, there is nothing much here for the meantime, and you might see these little slides floating about. Now, we don't need to collect all these right away. In fact, most people would skip collecting all these until they've been in the tent, because the tent is where you get told you need these things. But we need to go across the entire camp and pick up all the slides that are in the area. Basically, go where I'm going and you'll be able to see the slides no problem, because the slides are really not difficult to find. They're right out in the open. Of course, I am doing a little bit of checking anyway. You do need to be thorough, because it's still quite easy to miss one slide. I just realised they got picture slides and we just went down a slide. Hmm. Coincidence? I think not. Anyway, into the tent we are. Jane. Tarzan. Oh, and who's this? Uh, hi there. I'm... Oh, you speak English. So then, obviously you're not related to Tarzan. Are you here to study the gorillas? Highly doubtful. Sorrel! Goofy! Donald! <laughs> A circus of clowns. Not much use for hunting gorillas. Mr. Clayton, we're studying them, not hunting them. This is research. Well, the more the merrier. Do make yourselves at home. Well, anyway... I'm it's saying... Strong. Huh? Sora, look what we found. Look at this. <laughs> Interesting. I, the monkey from earlier shot out on a gummy block. Ha. Huh. Did... Interesting fact, they must mine the monkeys. Like every time they have take care of the monkeys and whatever the monkey shits. Ooh, there's our ship parts. Time to put our shit onto the ship. Huh? Huh? Shit on <laughs> Yes, you know shit means useless scrap. Yeah, that's brilliant. That's brilliant. I love my I love my job. But anyway, uh didn't I didn't see what came out in the chest. What we wanna do now, actually now that we got the slides, is actually just talk straight to Jane here. And she'll let us use the projector screen. Screen, screen, to chuck all the slides into, and uh, of course they'll pre-project it onto the big other side of the tent, allowing us to see exactly what are in each slide. Ah, that place looks familiar. I don't know why. Something looks very ominous about that place. Hmm. Interesting. We'll find out more about it as time goes on. Anyway, it's just to look at the slides, and hopefully Tarzan will uh, gain a bit of. Tarzan will be of good help to us. Well, Tarzan? Where are my friends, Riku and Kairi? Hey, I thought... That leaves just one place. Young man, we've been in this jungle for some time now. But we have yet to encounter these friends of yours. I'd wager they're with the gorillas, but Tarzan refuses to take us to them. Really, Mr. Clayton? Tarzan wouldn't hide... Then take us there. Take us to the gorillas. Gorillas. Tarzan, are you sure? Tarzan, go see Kerchak. Kerchak? He must be the leader. Perfect. I'll go along as an escort. After all, the jungle is a dangerous place. I'm evil! Woo! Seriously, how subtle does he look? He's just... He's clearly evil. Just... He's got the moustache. He's got... He's got that evil-looking grin down. But anyway, this is what happens when you get the actual Sonic Blades done very well, and it does an epic amount of damage. It is a very useful move. Of course, we also get 15 points every time we fight Sabor, and Sabor will return every now and then while we're in the jungle. I think you, you usually fight him in the encampment and other areas, so 
You can kind of grind and support if you know how to glitch his AI out enough. Which, unfortunately, I don't know because I only managed to pull that off once where he kept popping up in the same area. He doesn't seem to do it all that often to me. It's quite annoying. But anyway, bye here. <laughs> we need to do platforming. Oh, ho, 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 boy. And trust me, this is not Mickey Mania. The platforming can be a bit awkward in this one. So um, just be careful and just hold down the circle button for the entire length of a jump. And you'll, be, you'll make it just fine. Unless you do a jump like that. Anyway, open up the chest and get some more Dalmatian puppies. And we'll be heading to the Vines too. But we get to meet a few other people. So with that, I'm going to call it part here. So thank you all for watching. Don't be sheepish people. I'll see you all next time. Bye! Kerchak, please listen to me. I know the nesting grounds are secret, but I trust them. You see, I want to help them because, because, well, they need us. Oh, did you get that? No! Kerchak! Kerchak.